Hey, welcome to Dining with Daddy. I'm Chef Sean Davis, and this is my beautiful daughter, Savannah. And today we're going to make some pineapple croissants. Let's cook, Daddy. Dining with Daddy. Hello, my name is Savannah Davis, and these are the ingredients you're going to need for pineapple croissants when dining with Dad. Crescent rolls, butter, cinnamon, sugar, powdered sugar, vanilla, and pineapple. Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to do some, what is it called? Pineapple croissants. Pineapple croissants, and they're very, very easy. We're going to use the canned croissants. And, you know, I know what a lot of people are thinking. You know, where's the lamination of the dough? Where's the rolling it out and all of that kind of stuff, letting it proof? I can do that stuff. But this is Dining with Daddy. We're going to make it easy, right? Right. Right. We're going to have some fun because I like for my daughter to take over and just do this thing herself. So I'm her sous chef, right? Because your jacket says what? Chef Savannah. That's right. And I'm sous chef daddy today. <laughs> so we're going to crack these open, babe. These uh, little croissants here. And you and your mom make these kind of things a lot, don't you? Yes. So you know all about rolling these boys out. So you can roll that out. Okay. Let's see them first. See, you tear these off right here. It should be a sheet. You see them? Straighten them out like that. Then just roll that sheet out. And these are gonna be some really, really fun things to do. Really super easy. We're gonna lay them out. I'm gonna let my daughter twist them up. We're gonna give them a little twist. We're gonna make them like a cinnamon roll in the inside. So we're gonna put some powdered sugar little regular granulated sugar, cinnamon inside of these things. We're going to butter them up real nice. Mm -hmm. So what I need you to do, I need you to put this in the microwave till it's melted. So put it in for probably about 40 seconds, 40 seconds or so. And I'm going to straighten these out. So when you get back, it's going to be easy to work them. And like I said, we concentrate on making things real easy, real simple. So, yep, start tearing those off and putting them like that. Because, you know, we got to roll them fatty in up to the skinny end, right? Just like that. So, get those lined up how you want them. I'm going to check this out right here. That's about good. That is good. So what I want to do, because I like that little buttery, little buttery flakiness, I want you to just lightly butter those, just like that. Okay? Okay. All right. So where'd you get that nice jacket from? Well, you gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> oh, did I? Yes, you did. And who made it for you? Didn't you do it? I did it, but I had the help of... Mr. Eileen. We got to thank Mr. Eileen for that, right? Right. So we're going to have to put your fours up in this session for me. So I'm going to cut up some pineapple here because I do want to drop some into the, into the croissants after we get them buttered and hit them with that powdered sugar and cinnamon mix. So just a little bitty. A little light something with them. You got that? That's nice. So, one more? Yeah, one more. So you got to tell me a lot of the fun things that's going on in school. Well, we're, about, we're going to go to fifth grade camp. Fifth grade camp. And what you going to do at fifth grade camp? What kind of stuff? We're going to do archery and horseback riding. And we're going to learn about the Underground Railroad. Oh, nice. You going to do any swimming? Because you know you're like good at that now. It's too cold for that. <laughs> you thinking? 
So just a little bit, just sprinkle it over the top. There you go. You know, some people swim in cold water. Not you, though, is it? No. Okay. But we might go canoeing. Okay, that sounds like fun. I've never canoed before. Never. You know. Is that good? That's good. That's good. And I'm thinking we're going to just layer a couple of these in there just like that. How you feel about that? Okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let me help you with a couple of these. Go ahead. You do some and I'll do some. This is real nice. So is any of your friends with me? Who else? Go is it the whole fifth grade going? Well, some kids aren't going, like 14 or 15. Oh, just 14 or 15 not going? <laughs> yes. So the, but they're going to miss a lot of time. I know. That's a lot of kids. Your mom, she wasn't. She wanted to go for a chaperone. You okay with that? Um, I, um, <laughs> I don't know. She might let you have a lot of fun. What you think? I she, don't know. Yeah, she would. She would. I know she wants to go too. It's killing her that she can't go. And your brother is still super quiet. Doesn't that worry you? That don't worry you? I think he's just watching TV. What's his favorite show? Like Miles or Jake or Mickey Mouse or something. I don't know. I don't know. That kid is awesome, though. He's going to fly out here at any time and bust in this joint. Here, you want to put a couple of these pineapples in there? Sure. Yeah, take a little bit. I cut up a few more for you. Cut up a few more because we're going to use the rest of this pineapple to put in a glaze that we're going to put over the top of these croissants when we're done. So I'm going to just show you how to twist these things up. And we're going to make it real easy. All right, that's enough, babe. So you know when you're twisting the croissants, you want to kind of like peel that end out. Take the back end. You want to pinch it. When you start to roll it, tuck that. Then all you should have to do is put your palm over it and roll it up just like that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, pinch it and then roll it over. Okay. Yep, fold it over your pineapples. Tuck them in. Yep, pinch down. And take your palm of your hand, roll it on up just like that and i'm gonna take this butter because i'm gonna butter this tray butter this pan just to make sure the bottom of those things you know get a little crispy but i love that butter all the way through because we're gonna layer this over the top too a little bit of butter brushed on there then we're gonna make this pineapple glaze it's gonna be awesome I'm gonna help you finish some of these up, okay? Okay. Just like that. And just like that. So this swimming class tomorrow, is it a more advanced class? No, it's, um, it's the same level two. Is it? Yeah. You did so good in that, <laughs> you know? I think you're ready for the Olympics. <laughs> what do you think? That. You're getting really good though. Thanks. Yeah, we rolled those up really now. You're doing so good, babe. Thanks. Nice. I'm gonna let you go ahead and finish those two off because I'm gonna start taking these around to the tray, okay? Okay. We're gonna put these on this tray. And when we put these in the oven, we're gonna let these go for about 12, between 12 and 14 minutes. They're super quick, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the can croissant, so you don't have to do all the proofing and the, the laminating of the sheets and the folding and the, all of that stuff. So, yep, you can start putting those on there, babe. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. Put those over there because I got a couple of these other ones I want to put on there. Yep. And I got some other types over here. I got just some plain ones that, you know, sometimes you just want to have those plain types. So slide the pan over here. And we're going to put those just right here. Just want to cook a couple of those. Bake, uh, bake a couple of those. I'm not going to say cook. All right, you want to go over to the oven with these? Sure. Then we're going to get ready to work on this glaze. Okay. All right, you grab that pan. And we're going to go in here. We're going to set them on that rack real carefully. And I'm going to let them bake off for a little while. I'm going to bring them out, hit them with a little bit of butter, put them back in. There you go. Good job, babe. All right, so let's clean this off. So you ready to make a little pineapple glaze? I'm ready. Do you love pineapple like that? I like pineapple. You do? Yeah, because you came to me and you said, Dad, I want to do some pineapple croissants. And I said, well, whatever you want to do is what we're going to do. So what we got here is a little powder sugar. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla to it. So not all of that. Just go ahead and pour. I'll tell you when to stop. A little bit more right there so probably about a half a teaspoon and we're going to take a little bit of water just a tiny bit so i'm going to show you because this it will get too loose on you you don't want it to get too loose so put in probably about two tablespoons of water in there and the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut up these pineapples and when we bring this out of the oven when we bring those croissants out we're going to let them cool down and we're going to just pour this glaze right over the top and then we're going to garnish it with a little bit of pineapple. So we just want that nice pineapple flavor in there too. So you can take those, you can put those off in there too, but okay. put those pineapples in there. Then I'm going to let you use this emulsion mixer. I'm going to let you blend it all up real nice. That looks good. So when did you discover that you like pineapple so much? Because you're like a, you're a fruity little kid. Like you like strawberry. Your mom got you on this fruit thing. When did you find out? Um, I can't really remember. I just know that I tasted it and I really liked it. Really? Let me see. Let me see if everything is right with it. Okay, I understand now. I get it. Okay, let's move this out the way. Because I want you to slide that all the way down here. And I'm going to show you how to use this emulsion mixer. It's really easy. All you do, that's your low speed, high speed. Just want to put it on low. But all you want to do is you want to push it down into the bowl, right? Okay. And it's going to blend everything up. See how it's all coming together? And then we get some more powdered sugar, so just use your low, yep. There you go. Keep it on there. I'm going to grab us some more powdered sugar because we might have to add that to it. Because we want to make it a glaze. We want to keep it glazy. There you go. Chop it up. There you go. That look good too, babe. All right, so we got that going. I'm going to pick us out a plate for these croissants, okay? Okay. All right, so go ahead. Now just keep it at the bottom and just hit it and just hold on to it. There you go. There you go. And then you know what we got to do? Yeah. We got to get a, a spoon so you can taste it and okay. see what's going on to see if we need a little more pineapple or a little more vanilla, you know? So grab your spoon right now. See how this is going for you. See if the flavors are there. Dip it in there. Tell me what you think. I think it could use a little more pineapple. A little more pineapple? Well, that's what we're going to do then. That's why you're the chef. Here, hold that. I'm going to cut you up some more pineapple. 
You tell me what you need, and I'm gonna make it happen. How about we just put all this in there? Okay. You want all that in there? Um, sure. Okay, and then we'll just use that piece for the garnish on the top. Okay. Okay. Good. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go check on the croissants and see how they're doing. They've been in there for about maybe eight minutes, so we'll see if they need their uh little butter on there. Yep, go ahead and put it all the way down. I can. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna check on these over here. See how they're coming along. Baking up real nice. Getting there. So I think I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Why not? About there. Now you know what you gotta do? You gotta get another spoon. Okay. You gotta taste it again. You gotta taste it over and over again. That's pineapple, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, let me go ahead and finish and get this all the way down. Because the thing you want to do, you want to make sure when you bring your croissants out, you have to let them rest. You have to let them cool down because this is not going to take. If they're hot and you try to put this glaze on, it's just going to run right off. So you want, it to glow, you want it to cool down so this stuff just sticks right here. So I'm going to take this emotion mixer. I'm going to set this right over here because our glaze is now done. So I'm going to get our garnish pineapple cut. It sounds like I hear your brother right there. You hear him? I hear him. Oh, yeah. I hear him, too. He's ready for action. I'm pretty sure of it. So, take that off. You want to check on the uh, croissants again? Sure. Yeah. So, we got to make sure we go see Mr. Eileen. What you think? You want to go say hi? Yes. Why don't you throw your fours up to the camera just to just to <laughs> say hi. That's how you throw your fours up. And we're going to get a, one episode. We were talking to Darren. What we're going to do? Get all you girls over here and yes, we're going to see how that works. It's going to be a lot, of, a lot going on. It's going to be fun, though. So we got a couple more minutes on those. Those are cooking up nicely. Some of the bigger ones we're going to leave in there for a little while. But we're going to take those out. We're going to let them rest. We're going to let them cool down. Then we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to glaze them up, garnish them. It's going to look real nice. And like I said, you can have this for, I mean, if you want it for brunch or just a, a snack later on, you can have it for then. So when we pull these out the oven in about another three, four minutes, then I'm going to show you how to go ahead and take care of them with a little glaze. All right. So we're going to pull these out right now. I know these smaller ones are done. How those look, babe? They look good. They look good. So, my daughter's gonna close the oven up. We're gonna keep that, keep that going. But we're gonna put these smaller ones on a plate. And like I said, you want them to cool down. So, you can either take them, put them in the fridge and cool them down. Just let them sit out and rest and cool down. However you want to do it. But we're gonna um, gotta let them cool down because that glaze will not stick. That's for sure. So, did you hold that plate for me, babe? These are sticking. We got so much good stuff in these croissants. They sticking to the pan. All oh, that goodness coming out of those. These are gonna be like little little morning cinnamon rolls. Mm. All right, you can take those over to the counter. So I'm gonna put these big ones back in there. Let them go for a little while longer. Set those right there. So what you think, babe? You wanna put them in the cooler? Sure. We're gonna put them in the fridge for about three, four minutes. Then we're gonna come back to them. Okay, so we took these out of the fridge. I just wanted to cool them down super fast, but 
like my wife just told me, you don't have to cool them down fast. You just sit them out there, let them cool over time. And when you're cooking these, cook as directed on the package. You know what I mean? These said 375 for 14 minutes. That's what I did. So now that they're cooled down, I'm going to let my daughter take these. And what you're going to do is start dunking them. Just so just take this like this. Glaze it up right back onto the plate, just like that. Got it? And I'm going to help you. I want to join in because you're having too much fun. So, Can I help? That's your brother. He came down for a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> he made a cameo appearance. Just like that. So are you having fun doing this? I'm having fun. I know, right? There you go. And that one right there, we got them glazed up. And take a little bit of this right over the top, just like that. Get them nice and saucy. You got the sauce? Mm -hmm. Huh? I got the sauce. You got the sauce. And the rest of these pineapples, just like this, right over the top, just like that. How easy is that, babe? That's easy. You have fun? And yeah. you know they're going to be good, too, because you, you <laughs> made those things. You made them, baby. I'm proud of you. And there you go right there. We got pineapple croissants. Super easy. Like I said, you can do them for brunch. Just have them for a dessert. Anything fun, easy. Do it with your family. We're going to eat these things. So we'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all can come back and taste them with us. All right, I want to thank you for watching Dining with Daddy. Did you have fun with that bag? I had fun. This was a super cool idea that you had, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed making this with you. It's delicious. I know, we're going to eat. We're going to eat, and I wish y'all could eat with us, but it's not going to happen. But we're going to eat. I want to thank you for watching Dining with Daddy, and remember, it's so easy. Even a grown-up can do it. Peace. Peace.